I'm Casey and I have a crush on food. And today I have a crush on easy tomato sauce. Have you ever made your own tomato sauce? It's pretty easy. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make it today. You can use it for spaghetti, you can use it for lasagna, you can use it for pizza. It's really good and simple to make. Doesn't take hardly any time at all. So I have um, a medium saucepan here on the stove and I've heated it to about a medium high heat and I'm just going to put in a good amount of olive oil, two turns, just to coat the bottom and I'm going to put in a small finely chopped onion, one teaspoon of oregano, four garlic cloves, a, a cinnamon stick, put that in there. flavor, something a little different. So now I'm going to put in a couple of bay leaves and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Once you have the tomato paste in there, just give the another stir. Putting the tomato paste in by itself kind of helps to uh, distribute the flavors more evenly when we add the liquid, so you don't have to cook it for very long with the tomato, just the tomato paste in there. So I have it all mixed up, and I'm going to add half a cup of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth if you don't do animal products. So, there we go. And then I have 28 ounces of crushed fire roasted tomatoes. So I'm going to dump those in there. And you can let this simmer once it's brought, once you bring it to a boil after you have everything dumped in. You can let it simmer for five to ten minutes or you could let it simmer longer if you have more time and um, it will even be more flavorful and more delicious. Letting it sit and simmer for a few minutes just lets it thicken a little bit. So, I'm going to leave it alone, and let it do its thing. I think my sauce is done, my easy tomato sauce. So, it's kind of chunky and smells great. I love tomato sauce, so I probably put it on just about anything. So if you've never made it yourself, I hope you try my easy tomato sauce recipe. 